Welcome to this video. In this video, we explain how to model axisymmetric problems in a deep drawing of a cup. And we explain about modeling different part, rigid part, and also how to assemble them and how to define plastic deformation of metals. As we want to model this problem axisymmetric, we model one half of the cross section of the problem as you can see in this figure. Then we can decide about the scale of modeling. We choose SI millimeters for this problem. We start with creating a part. At first we create the punch. The punch is axisymmetric and we try to draw it an car rigid and we can continue and draw the punch here we can see the symmetric line we draw two lines and create a fillet for it and we can enter the dimensions in millimeter This dimension should be large enough to form the cup and we enter 70 here and we create a fillet for the corner of the punch. Now the geometry of punch is complete and the only remain task is to add a reference point for this rigid part we then create the die die is also axisymmetric and analytical rigid and we create it by two lines at first we should enter the whole depth and this depth should be large enough to create the cup we also add this dimension and this dimension should be larger than the radius of the blank and we create a fillet for the die to show how we can edit a part again we didn't enter the radius of the die hole yet and we continue by adding a reference point for die and we create the next part blank holder this is also axisymmetric and analytical rigid we create it also by two lines and a fillet we add the radius of the blank holder here and then the length of straight horizontal part and also we create a fillet for it now the blank holder is complete and we can add a reference point for it Now we explain how we can edit a part. We can use the left side of the software and see all of drawings and parts here. I choose this sketch and edit it and add this dimension to the die. The dimension. We add the dimension here and the die is complete now and we can click down after that we can regenerate the part now the part is edited and complete now we can create the blank blank is also axisymmetric and deformable and we create it by shell feature and 
we only draw a rectangle here by appropriate dimensions from 0, 0 to 100.82 now all of the parts are complete and we go to the property module we create material for billet which is a steel and the elasticity property of the steel is young modulus and Poisson ratio the important thing is we should enter all of the parameters in megapascal here now we go to the plasticity plastic and define plastic property of the steel as you can see in this curve we should enter yield stress versus plastic strain of the steel it should be noted that we should subtract elastic strain of the material and we should only enter plastic strain and stress of the material i have columns here in excel software from the tensile test of this material and copy it and use it in this table as you can see plastic strain should be start from zero and then these two columns increase we use Mises criterion and isotropic hardening for this material we also can use different type of hardening like kinematic hardening for the material and then we can create a section the section is solid and homogeneous and we choose a name for the section and we choose the steel and continue then we assign the section to the blank part and we could go to assembly module now by create instance we enter all the part and use auto offset to have distance between parts now we should translate each part to the proper position <coughs> we use translate and use a start and end point for to translate parts it should be noticed that parts cannot be moved along x direction here and by moving them they will translate from one point to another point only in y direction we also translate blank holder and finally we can translate punch for translating the punch also after choosing the part we choose a start point and end point for translation vector and translate the punch now all the parts are in correct location and we can continue to model the problem i hope this video has helped you out guys please watch our next videos to model this problem by explicit and implicit procedure of abacus software and complete modeling of this problem you can compare implicit and explicit procedures in modeling of metal forming by watching our next videos of this series if these videos are helpful we really appreciate it if you let us know by a like or a comment or a subscribe see you in next videos